Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zapier to Notion in 2023. Notion is a versatile productivity and note-taking platform. And of course, Zapier is an automation uh, tool that connects different apps. So in this comprehensive guide, of course, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Zapier with Notion. So make sure to stick by. Let's dive right into this video. Simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll have to go and click on whatever browser or just open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with because you would like to sign up for a Zapier account. And to do so, as I, as I said, you'll need a browser. So go and open yours. For me, I will use Brave here. And of course, here, just go to the URL section once you open your browser and type zapier.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure uh, if you are, of course, at the home screen or main screen, just go and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, click on sign up to create a new account for yourself. Of course, you can click on start for free with Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your account. If you don't know much about those websites, you can always scroll down read more information about the websites, how the automation and how the integration goes or happen. And you can even scroll down to see what people saying about us. As you can see, a lot of people even say like good things because it's actually a good tool that helps you automate a lot of stuff. So for me, I'll just go here to the top right corner and log in into my account. So click on login here for me. And of course here, I'll choose Google. So after that, I'll have you here to choose my account. And now, what I'll need to do is simply, as you can see, I'll find myself in the dashboard. So as I said was, what I need to do is simply go to this left panel, go to apps and click on that. Here, I'll be taken to this page. So make sure to go and click on search apps here. And what we'll need to type here is simply Notion. As you can see, no matching connections. So we would like to add a new connection. So as you can see, we find Notion here, click on connect. This will pop out into you. And here basically, if you are already connected into or if you already connected into Notion in the browser that you're using at the moment, that's already cool because as you can see, they will not ask you to log in again. They will not ask you to enter your email or to log in with Google or anything. You'll basically have to grant access and you'll be good to go. It's loading at the moment. I don't know, maybe the server is slow or something like that. So let's just refresh or click on connect again just in case. And of course, you will have to wait for this until it's finished. When it's finished, once it's finished, you'll have to go and grant access, every access that's asked for, and the connection will be good. Once you connect that, now you'll be able to go and create some zaps. How to do that is simply go and click on create zap. And now what's important is simply, if you know, of course, first of all, how to do it manually, you can simply go and click on triggers, choose your notion trigger as example, so just go to Notion. Let's just go here and choose Notion. And for the action, it will be the same. So basically for trigger, uh, the event, I'll just do like a new database item. And here, click on continue. Here, of course, they will ask you to sign in. If you already signed in before or connect us before, you'll not be, or you'll not have to do that as you can see. So you'll be already done. But if you didn't, as you can see, you will have to do it here anyway. For us, I'll just go here to action. And now what I will need to do is simply go and choose the action that I need to do once this trigger is verified. Once like this new database item is verified and it's correct. Now what action should done? I can do like an action in Zapier. I can do an action in Gmail or whatever I want. So I'll just choose something on Zapier. And here I'll just do an email with Zapier. And of course, what action it should done is send an outbound email. Why not? click on continue and here of course you will have to type uh, the required fields including like to the email who uh, the email is going to be sent to so i'll just type here like uh, i'll just type like a random email as example so test at gmail.com and of course for uh, the subjects i'll just to type your test for you just enter your accurate stuff depending on the action that you choose for me i choose here like sending an email for you you can choose like other stuff, as I said, depending on whatever you want. For the body, HTML or plain, you can simply, if you don't know how to write with HTML or even plain, you can simply use some AI tools like uh, ChatGPT or even the AI tool that I showed you before. And of course, you can send even add some attachments uh, from name, reply to, BCC, 
force line breaks, enable read uh, recepts, and any other thing that you would like to add. Once you add everything, click to continue, finish required field. Of course, let's just finish the required field. Here I'll just type like some random stuff. I don't know if it even will work. Yeah, now I can click on continue. Click on continue, of course. You can always go and click on test step. This is very necessary to see if everything is working as intended. As you can see, you'll find what you will have here. This is going to be the email and that's going to be it. So just finish all the danger marks as you can see. So we're still here and this trigger need to connect to our account. As I said, maybe the server is slow at the moment in Notion. So I don't know why it's taking so long. It should not take that long. But anyway, for you, just wait. I don't know, maybe a minute or two. Once you get like your page, just go and grant access and you'll be good to go. Now, of course, you'll be able to turn it on and publish it whenever you want. And of course, once you've set up uh, the action, like Zapier will test the entire workflow to ensure everything is working as expected. And if the test is successful, you can now turn on your Zap and it will start automating tasks based on the trigger and actions you've set up. Of course, if you don't know how to do this or you don't want to even do it manually, let's just go back and create a new Zap as an example here. Wait, click create a new Zap. We'll basically have to use this AI tool. So go here and type like when I send or yeah, when I send an email in Zapier, I would like to send a message as an example and facebook for me i'm just giving you an example and an email and gmail in the same time so click on generate we'll have to wait a bit until they finish generating and they will generate all the steps that we need so we basically have to do nothing as you can see so they give you all the steps click on right now and this will be filled in the triggers and the actions. Basically, if you have any danger like uh, sign here, just click on it. As you can see, this just needs an email address. For this, it needs like to choose an account. And for this, it will need a sign in and you will be good to go. So after that, as I said, you'll be able to test all your stuff. So the AI tool, as you can see, it helps a lot. Just give it all the details that you want to set the customization that you want. And you can even add your touches in the end if you want to. And that's going to be it. So you'll be able now to test everything and turn it on. And that's it. So here is the response of this video. Congratulations. You've successfully connected Zapier to Notion in 2023. With this integration, you can automate various tasks and your productivity and notes taken workflow. So remember to regularly review and monitor your Zaps to ensure like they are functioning as intended or as it should. So thanks for watching, of course, and happy automating. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.